So after about four months, I figured it's time to look at this again. Hey YouTubers, I'm gonna do an update on my cheap $20 turbo spray repainting of my hood. Um, I think it's doing really well. This is my 99 Leisure Travel. Um, it had a really disgusting hood. I'm gonna show you a little bit about it and show you some of the work I did. So, on with the update. It's been about four months. I'm still on a trip cross country. I've driven probably close to 5,000 miles. Um, from Ohio to the UP, all the way to the West Coast. And it's been hot, it's been cold. Um, I've been parked near the ocean where it's been in the 50s at night. And I've been driving it over 100 degrees while driving it. And I had that heat dome time where it was like over 110. And this hood is held up. So the hood's a little dirty now. I've been wiping it down each day after I've been driving, washing it up, and I'm gonna do that at the beginning. So we'll get in close, but I'm gonna clean it for you. It's got some bugs on But I wanna put a little disclaimer before I show you real quick the work I did, because the video I did was very long. I'm gonna include it in the description. And on that topic, I looked up how to do this on YouTube, and I found two types of videos. One type was somebody that took like steel wool, wiped it down, sprayed it, and called it done, and they did it in a half an hour, and surprisingly, they don't look too good. And then the other kind where you could tell they were people that were probably professionals or had done a lot of painting, and they kind of just talked about stuff and didn't show detail. Well, I have a problem where I go into far too much detail, so if you click on that link, it's going to be long, but I'm going to show you how... I took it from horrible all the way down to metal and then the process of painting it. I did say in the video probably 500 times, I've never done this before, so excuse me if you do watch that video. It, it, I did it over the course of three days and uh, you repeat yourself, which I do anyways. All right, what I have here is just some hot soapy water. I just used dish soap. And uh, side note update, uh, one of the few things that's ever broken on my van just broke. My coffee pot stopped working which is quite a problem. I'm just gonna wash the hood down real quick. And as I do that, I'm gonna show you the work that went into doing this hood and why I think it's a great way to repaint your hood for 20 bucks. See, I told you this hood was horrible. Um, a problem that a lot of vehicles this age have. It was down to primer and even some rust in places. So I had navel jelly and I used some navel jelly to try to seal up the rust. But as you can see, it was quite a mess. Being honest, I was afraid it wouldn't come out very good, so I'd been hesitant. But then I turned to the Rust-Oleum Turbo Spray and used self-etching primer and a lot of paint remover. And I think it turns out pretty good. You can pry these off, but it wasn't cooperating, so I just decided to leave it in place and tape it. I'd also had plans to just paint the hood on the vehicle and not take it off. Lucky for me, it was pretty windy, and I decided I needed to take the hood off. Came out much better. This is my cheap little attempt at, like, a paint booth. So, a super real DIY. Then I sanded it down to the metal. Takes a lot of time. I put a coat of primer on it. I think about three coats totally. Took it outside and wet sanded it lightly. Also wet sand the finish coat. I use my basic painting philosophy that prep work is the key to everything. So having a good clean surface made it possible for this spray to look pretty good. Now the great thing about the Rust-Oleum can is it has a really big fan so it makes covering much easier. This is what it turned out at the end. And in my opinion, for $10 can of paint and about that for a can of primer, pretty darn good. I also repainted the bumper with bumper spray and it helped a lot. All right, so I just washed it and rinsed it. I'll get closer with the cell phone, but gotten all the bugs off. Here's a closer flyby. You can see the water drops. Hopefully, you can also see that all the bugs came off. I washed it each day when I was done driving or I tried to remember to. And now this had probably sat for, from my last drive, it wasn't too buggy. This is set for a couple weeks and the bugs still came right off. and. It's holding up great. That's it. That's all it is. And it's held up on that super long trip and it has been so hot. Just um, really pleased with it. And considering um, I, went to a, I went to a detail shop and they wanted over $600 to do it because I have maybe 12 to 18 small hail dings in this hood. 
which you can't see here, but you get it at the right angle, you can see it. I didn't even pop those out. I just sanded it down and the paint stuck everywhere. The primer stuck and the paint stuck. So if you're looking to do your own DIY job now, obviously it looks a little different than the old, which is also why I have yet decided not to clear coat it because I don't want it to be any more shiny than it is to look that much different than the old hood. But you saw the before pictures, $20, that's a heck of a deal. So if you're looking to do something, I suggest it. I'm thoroughly impressed with how it's held up on this trip. I mean, I was 100, 100 degrees driving through the Rocky Mountains, up the Rocky Mountains, and the engine got hot like engines do, especially when it's that hot, and this paint stuck perfectly. So two thumbs up if you're looking to do your own painting. And again, I said it too many times in the video you may have watched. Uh, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I watched others' videos, and some of them I found helpful, and some of them I found confusing. But try it. If you're thinking about doing it, try it. And hopefully you enjoyed, and have a great and wonderful day. Now, it's probably not going to be perfect for you either, like it's not for me, because it didn't come out of a paint shop. But if you take your time, you do the prep work, you can do this too. P.S. I don't know how much longer this full-on hippie look is going to last. And if you want to watch the travels, check the channel out all the way across the states to the Olympic Peninsula.